With just over a week left in Donald Trump's presidency, Democrats in the House of Representatives have launched several procedures to force him out of power. They are charging the president with incitement of insurrection related to the invasion of the U.S. Capitol last Wednesday. They have given the vice president 24 hours to invoke the 25th Amendment. A resolution calling on Vice President Michael R. Pence to convene and mobilize the principal officers of the executive departments of the cabinet to activate Section 4 of the 25th Amendment to declare President Donald J. Trump incapable of executing the duties of his office and to immediately exercise powers as acting president. president of the United States is but so far, Mike Pence doesn't seem intent on replacing his boss until the 20th of January. And the Republican members of the House have blocked the resolution, which will be debated again on Tuesday morning. The Republican lawmaker Alex Mooney, who objected the resolution, said the House must never adopt a resolution that demands a removal of a duly elected president without any hearings, debate or recorded votes. This has angered House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The House Republicans rejected this legislation to protect America, enabling the president's unhinged, unstable and deranged acts of sedition to continue. Their complicity endangers America, erodes our democracy, and it must end. Enough Democrats have now signed on to an impeachment resolution to pass the measure if Mike Pence fails to act. It would make Donald Trump the first president in history to be impeached twice and could prevent him from holding office again.